Welcome to our lecture online. Our next example again doesn't quite look like the standard variety of a quadratic equation, but in this case notice that the third term is equal to zero. In other words, in this example c is equal to zero, a is equal to one, and b is equal to negative ten. As long as a is not equal to zero, we do have a quadratic equation. So we can have examples where b is equal to zero, like in the previous video, or where c is equal to zero, like in this video. Now, if c is equal to zero, typically you can then factor out a common factor. In this case, a common factor is x, so we can write this as x times x minus 10 is equal to zero. And again, we have a product. Here, the product is x times the binomial x minus 10, and since when we multiply, we get, equal, we get the, the result being zero, that means that x must equal zero or x minus 10 must equal 0. That means, yes indeed, that's one of your solutions, or uh, x must equal 10 when we bring the negative 10 to the right side. And so you can see that again, you'll have two solutions by first factoring, then realizing when the product equals 0, both of the uh, factors must equal 0, and then you solve for both of them. And that is how we do that.